just like starry-eyed Once I get you up there I'll be holding you so near You may hear angels cheer Cause we're together Weather-wise, it's such a lovely day Just say the words and we'll beat the birds down to Acapulco Bay It's perfect for a flying honeymoon, they say Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away Once I get you up there Where the air is rarefied We'll just glide starry-eyed Once I get you up there I'll be holding you so near You may hear angels cheer Cause we're together Weather-wise, it's such a lovely day You just say the words And we'll beat the birds down to Acapulco Bay It's perfect for a flying honeymoon They say, come fly with me Let's fly, let's fly Pack up, let's fly away Hello, Lakeland. Good Hello. morning. Uh, we're here for the 9 to 10 show. We're a bit late, you know. It's pretty frosty outside. I actually drove halfway here with frosted windows. Couldn't even see to merge. <laughs> but, you know, I'm and alive, so got, it's good. We got stopped by trains, you know. Oh, yeah. Madison Village problems, That you know, it happens. Many That's times. what happens when you live... Uh, it's I, I've noticed, because I come uh, on, on Mondays and Wednesdays, I, come, yeah. I have to be here at 9, and... I've noticed they have, I think they have a schedule that's right around that time. And it's kind of upsetting because every time you're like, oh, train. Yeah. So. Yeah. Do they have a set schedule? I don't know. I Do they? I, I don't know because every time I get in the village, if it's like, if it's like 825, train. 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 So, 820. Train. <laughs> yeah. 823. Train. Uh, it's just one slow moving train that's like three miles long and just yeah. just crawls through. You ever been? You ever sit there and like uh, the things go down? And you're like, oh, there's a train, whatever. And, and then it and then it's and then it comes by and it's just like it, you you wait there for probably like ten ten minutes and and then you you you're like this train coming? Can I just go and immediately? <laughs> When you think that, and you're about to go, the fastest train ends up coming. <laughs> just a bullet. Just Apparently, from my grandma told me this actually. Really? Apparently, when those when the crossbars go down, or I don't honestly, I have no idea what they're called. That sounds fine to me. Yeah. Crossguards. I I think that sounds like a fairly decent name, but it takes generally six seconds for a train to come. So like. If you, if you decide, hey, this person, you know, this train is not going to come, and then you go, better that do that within six seconds, one, because a train, a train does not stop. It, it wins the game of chicken. Every game. Every, <laughs> every game of chicken. I if think the only thing that would probably beat it is probably like uh, a Boeing... 525 or whatever it's no. called. No. Like landing. No. No. It, no yeah, dude, you're right. Train would you're destroy right. that. Depending on how many cars, if you got like no cars, if you have no train cars. If it cars, was like, it was like engine and caboose. If it was, yeah. No, not even caboose. Just the engine. Just the engine. 
Maybe. Maybe. But that's that's, that's, that's very still true. like I don't even know how many pounds. Like, le- I'm a, I'm gonna look this up because I want to know. So would it constitute itself as an unstoppable force? Oh, I was watching Vsauce the other day. Vsauce. Yeah, it's a. Um, Tell us about Vsauce. It's it's a YouTube video. It's pretty awesome. No wait, it was Minute Physics. My my bad. Another awesome YouTube video about physics and stuff. And what it went over was uh, what would win on an unstoppable unstoppable force or an unmovable Little object. object. And he came to the conclusion that n- they would just pass through each other. They would pass through each like matter through matter. Because if it's unmovable and if it's unstoppable. That has to stay where it is, and that has to stay it's moving. Moving, so they have to so pass through pass. each other. So, what would be the result? Hi, Shante. How are you? <laughs> so, uh, what what would so would would it still be in the same shape? Did he go into detail about the? Yeah, the, it would, it <laughs> the would stay. Afterwards. It would stay in the same shape. It's just like just just pass through each other. I guess that's that makes sense in physics. Yeah. I suppose. I, I don't know. There's things. There's something called quantum tunneling. And there's a probability of like uh, subatomic particles to go from one spot to another without moving there, like just going through different things. Like if my hand was on this side of the mic, there's a probability of it going to the other side and st- just, just like without disrupting the mic. Just uh, teleporting. Teleport. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And I have that fact up here for how much does a train weigh? Apparently, uh. About 140 to 200 tons. Wow. So, wow. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, Moving, you're not going to stop it with anything. No, it is. I mean, what, what, is, it, what has more momentum and, 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 and just, just weight behind it than a train? Uh, that's, man, that, that's man-made. A naval airship. Naval, okay. So, if, a naval, if a naval airship, an aircraft carrier... Rooted itself, just ran itself ashore somehow, and and went straight like it. it you know, the train on, was coming. Had on collision with a train. With a train, what would happen? And I think the result would be would be <laughs> vastly devastating. Oh, it would be it would be catastrophe. In Fat- and around the disaster zone would be would be humongous. Oh, uh. but uh. Yeah, an epic ep- uh, Michael Bay film. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you know, it, like everything was crashing, be explosions everywhere, and then it just, you know, the aircraft carrier would be laying on its side. The train would be like, you know, a train set that just got stomped on by your three-year-old son, who's a little, a little rascal, and then it's, it's just, it's just awful. Oh, I wish I knew how to spell. What do you, what do you not know how to spell? I'm the, spe- I'm the speller here. Yeah, definitely. Hold on. I'm going to do something here. Uh, I'm just making eyebrows at people that go by. Okay. Actually, this mm, it's close because a full load uh aircraft carrier weighs Actually, no. It's it's there's no way. You know how many tons this thing weighs? <laughs> About a hundred thousand tons. That's a lot of tons. Just some That's things. a ton of tons. It's more than a ton of tons. Two thousand tons would be a ton of tons. That's that's true. Mm. It's like a megaton of tons. Megaton of tons. <laughs> I wonder how much the Titanic weighs because the Titanic was actually the largest uh, man-made. Ob- I don't think object. I don't think now it is. Uh, I think cruise that's ships. What, that's what, cruise that's, ships nowadays are like that's what Mr. twice the size. That's what my professor Davenport. Hello, Celine. How are you? How are we doing? Would you like to join us? Uh, oh, okay. Just tempting us, huh? You you can come in if you want. Yeah. Uh, we right. we have another session at um uh twelve to one. Yeah. All right. And then you can so pick on you... you could pick on vocal diction students with us. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> it's what we have fun with. Oh, it's it's the it's, it's the fun. It's the bees knees. Fun part of the day. Yeah. Uh, so we were listening to NPR earlier, or at least uh, I heard this session, and it's this show or something, and it's called the Slap. And what it's about 
Did you did you hear it, about yeah, it? Yeah, because it was based on that book about um, like disciplining your children and how it used to be okay to discipline other people's children because everything was like community. Like it, right. you, it takes a whole community to raise a child. Everyone's like, you know, hey, Mister Smith or whatever. You know, what all, all that? Hello, everyone's just coming in know, and giving us their regards, and it's it's fantastic. I I feel the love. We feel the love. Thank you. Thank you. This is only our second session. We yeah. Just, we got people looking at us. Feeling the love. I, I, I can feel it. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm. It's warm in here. It's like a, it's like a scarf. <laughs> yeah, man. I took mine off because it's a little itchy, but you know. Yeah. I'm Plus, just gonna, it's very warm in here. If you, if you look through the window, I will make eyebrows at you. Just letting you know. If you want some eyebrows. I second that notion. We'll wait. Well, wait, anyways, <laughs> the slap. Back to the slap. So I, I there was this uh, recording, uh, and I don't know if it was actually real life or it was a, it was a play or something. Or well, I think how, it was a play. I think they. I, I think, think it was too. Because was it Australia? I think Australia, some Australian playwright made made it mm-hmm. made one of them like a a, um, a play off the book. Oh. <laughs> Cha. Okay. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I think he made a a, um, a play. I'm just gonna use it. I can't think of right. any other words. But right anyways, now, but, uh, yeah. what what so, entertained me? What what I was laughing out loud in my car on the way here, listening to it because uh, there was this little kid. I think his name was Timmy or something. I don't remember. Mm-hmm. But he was this little rascal, and he was like, it was just being a little a little crapper. Yeah. And just like he was, at one point he was like swinging around a bat. He's like, I don't want to be here. And his father's like, Don't don't do that. Don't stop. And oh. like his parents <laughs> his parents are apparently like hippies. And what they actually said was uh uh they're hippies and they like to drink. <laughs> and I was like, What? So they're uh they're they're talking about how he's swinging this bat around and he almost hits another kid like in the head. Oh. And the kid that almost gets hit, his father, how we doing, sir? Hello. I gave you some eyebrows. Uh, did you give him eyebrows? I did. Eyebrows. Yeah. I gave so, him eyebrows. <laughs> we, uh, uh, so they, um, he's like, you almost hit my kid. And he pulls the kid aside and like the kid's just being, you know, a little crapper. Mm-hmm. And, um, and he just hear like smack. And I was like, oh, oh snap. Cause I, I, I came in at the end of the conversation and I heard, um, everything started out of barbecue yeah. and then. Uh, what they said was like drama begins when social um, conduct is broken. Yeah, and apparently that would be social conduct conduct that was broken because nowadays you're not allowed you, to you, smack you can't someone smack else's somebody kid. else's kid. You kidding me? <sighs> Too bad we're not in the fifties. I'd yeah. like have some kids. I'd like to smack. I'm joking. No, we're not. <laughs> yeah, I've thought about. I've thought about actually. Like, would I would I smack my kids in the future? And and. I don't think we'd be allowed to. No, uh, you know, we're already allowed, not allowed to. Well, you're allowed to hit them. I don't think so. I think you can definitely get the child services people called on you. I feel like definitely. Well, and that's that's weird to me because honestly, like I was only hit ever once. Honestly, you know, <laughs> you're I was a good kid. <laughs> I was I was not. <laughs> um, and Fine, I just had abusive parents. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, what is what is that? Is that still going? Uh, yeah, hit uh, hit stop on that. Oh well, it's all good. <laughs> anyways, <laughs> just going through. Doesn't matter. No one's hearing anyways. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, honestly, I've thought about it, and uh, I don't, I don't feel that violence is really the answer. But nothing gets the point across like getting a swift hit on the bottom with a race car track. With a <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> I used that used to happen to me when I was a kid. You know those the plastic race car tracks? Yeah, for like Hot Wheels and stuff. Yeah, those hurt a lot. <laughs> Do they? <laughs> oh, it's like a switch, just like, and you're just ah. Yeah. It. it, it yeah. It, what's it's worse not... about it is it's like it's like insult or injury because your <laughs> it's dad's your like, choice. this is your toy. You have fun with this, and now it hits you, and you hate it. Needless to say, I stopped playing with race cars i stopped playing with anything that i could be hit with <laughs> too bad he kept the race car track <laughs> i started playing with a uh s- bar of soap inside of a sock and realized soon after that was a poor idea i thought it was i was playing as if it were nunchuck 
I broke the family vase that was worth probably <laughs> around five thousand dollars. I did a certain. I did a similar thing to that. I I had this like plastic axe, mm -hmm. and for some reason. I was trying to hack at a cedar chest, which above held a, like a, it was just some kind of little statue of an angel or something. Mm. And I hit the shelf, broke it, and Ooh. lied my butt off. <laughs> oh. I tell you what. Did you blame it on your little brother? No, I blamed it on the cat. The cat. Yeah. Well, that's a better one. Yeah. Because yeah. then Mitchell wouldn't he hate does you it. for life. Yeah. I mean, he still does. He's still because he's a little brother. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about little brothers for here. I mean, you were a little brother. Right? I, I'm a little brother, but it's different because you were a little brother in a house of two. two. You're a little brother and a middle child. I'm a middle child. I'm not a little brother. I'm a middle child. You're a middle child. So Which is what does middle child mean? And for all those out there that are middle children, tell us about. Let's band together and <laughs> conquer the world. Except nobody pays attention to you, so yeah. that would never happen. Yes, we'd be like, we are the middle children. Oh, oh, nobody, nobody cares. So what do you, <laughs> what do you want for lunch, Rick? <laughs> didn't you, didn't you hear those guys? They were middle, middle children. I heard they have mental problems when they're older. <laughs> they're, yes, they're we like, do. They're like child actors. <laughs> um, except the whole attention part, they just get all the like the. The, the fallout and the emotional problems. Yeah, see, it's awful. <laughs> we get we get a lot of we get we get a lot of negative uh, attention, and it's not great. Why why do you get negative attention? Because we're we're just old enough between the two to know what we're doing wrong, and we're just young enough to muddy everything up. Right. We don't understand that that level so of uh, it's, of, it's, of responsibility. It's not so much that we just get negative attention; it's that we attract negative attention. Mm -hmm. Because I think we're it's, a little. I crappers. think it's because you don't really fit into the bigger, older, uh, younger brother kind of idea. Because older brothers, they have the responsibility, so they kind of get it. Oh, uh, they get the, kind of the um, the they kind of grow up more responsible, and they kind of fit that role. And then little brothers. They're like they're kind of little. They're little crappers, and they, <laughs> they, uh, they, they, they kind of get away with a lot more. Yeah. They kind of get away with. But with the middle child doesn't fit either one of those. No, and it's awful. Instead of getting best of both worlds, they get the worst of both worlds. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, but we are we are the most um, mediated, I suppose, being a middle child. You know, Makes sense. I'm not. I mean, I can be, I can be a party animal when I want to. Don't get me wrong. But <laughs> let's hang out. I know uh, <laughs> we, we do. Yeah. <coughs> um, <laughs> How about that gun control? No, it's, uh, <laughs> um. Anyways, <laughs> but I can also, I, I, I know when when to se simmer down now. Simmer down. Simmer down. You now. didn't know. I always know how to simmer down though. Well, no, no one. So Always do you do you uh do you um did you watch Malcolm in the Middle? As a uh, I watched it just on TV when there was nothing else on. Yeah, uh, I mean. Did you connect to that show? Nah, because my older brother isn't a <laughs> dumbass. <laughs> 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 I had to check the blacklist. Uh, I think that was. I think that was good. That was that was fine. All right, good. All right, yeah. He wasn't a dumbass. We get one a but, day. But uh, and my little brother it is <laughs> also not one. Right. But the the extremes are too extreme in that show. So I guess I didn't really. Yeah. Like we're That's like very true. You know, closer on the bell curve than than normal. Yeah. Normal children. Yeah. Plus, you know what's weird? What. I feel like most siblings look similar to each other. Mm-hmm. I don't think we do. You, do you, you know what's weird is that you're complete, like, you're half-siblings with, with Tyler. Yeah. Correct? Mm -hmm. And and you're uh, whole siblings with Mitchell. And I look more like you Tyler. You look a lot more like Tyler. It's it's kind of crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know. And I, oh, Another good thing I get from it, I guess, is my little brother is pretty scientific, and my older brother is a creative. A creative. I kind of, you know, get a little bit both from. Yeah. Which you, is why I have such drum. a problem 
finding a career choice. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, well, I could go for one, but then I won't meet the needs of the other and vice versa. So I'm going to go for the most lucrative and then do the fun things on the side. That seems like a great idea. That sounds like fantastic. You, you know, yeah, you should... Because, you know, there's a lot of creative hobbies out there, and you yeah. can get creative with your hobbies. Yeah. Speaking of uh, hobbies, it's not really a hobby. It's more of a life choice. I bought a PS4 the Ooh, other day. It's a life choice. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it really is. It's, it's an investment. It really was. Mm-hmm. I think I ended up spending on, uh, I think it was Tuesday, let's see, probably around $620-ish. Probably, I'll just say 600 Mm-hmm. Because, you know, I bought games, I bought an extra controller, because obviously fighting games, kind of niche Fighting here. games, yeah, that's kind so, of our thing, But honestly. That's a life choice. Actually, it's not a life choice, it's an investment, because of how <laughs> much money I spent <laughs> Tuesday. Yeah. But I have enough to hold me over. Yeah. So, but, yeah, it's fun being a middle child. <coughs> uh... Guns and seems <laughs> 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 our cop on. We don't, we don't, like we don't know air. what to say. We so. don't like dead air on the radio. So Why? Because dead uh, air is you know, you know, dead. Yeah, but or, uh, isn't it you who said that uh, silence is one of the most important parts of conversation? Yeah, but not on radio. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. Yeah. Because everybody else is like, well, I'm not really in the conversation. What's going on? Not quite in the conversation. I just want information. I don't want anything else. What's the news like? What's the news like? Well, I don't know. We're getting along with India right now. Gas prices have dropped. I heard something about uh, uh, on natural gas, there might be a a raise uh, in taxes. And obviously, the natural gas company is like, Please don't. That's not cool. <laughs> don't, don't be doing that. No. And don't made a good point. That. He was like, he was like, every time you take natural gas out of the ground, you're making Ohio poorer <laughs> because it's like resources that are in the ground. Every time they take it out, we have less of it. Yeah, less but money. we're exporting it. It doesn't. It's it's not a uh, a material like uh, like um. It's a matter of like cash money. It's a m- matter of like Value. having it. The value of the resource, just like okay, You're like that adds Saudi, to the whole value Saudi Arabia, of Saudi Arabia, like yeah. has all that crap under the ground there. Some you know black gold or black gold, so they have a high value. Yeah, when it comes to trades. Yeah, so right. it's that's the same it's the same principle. Right, right. But yeah, I thought that was interesting. That's pretty much the extent of the news I know. But um, <laughs> you know, what are you gonna do? It's all it's all fun and games, especially if someone gets hurt. Yeah, right. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I should be more involved with uh, current events. Since I'm a journalism major, yeah, that's that's yeah. I shouldn't be admitting that on the ra- on the radio, I suppose. <laughs> but <laughs> hey, you know what? I've been in here for what, what? How long has this semester been going on? Like five weeks? Is this our fifth week? Oh, I don't know. Done? I think it's fifth, but five weeks. You know, I'm I'm getting there. You like it? So I love far? it. It's oh, great. I know it's great. I and I'm I. Take sole responsibility for you going to school because I pushed you into you're doing like, dude, it. You, dude, you'd love it. I'm like, I don't know it's if like, I'm ready. And you're bro, like, dude, just do bro, it. I'm like, you, okay. You just got to go in there, mom. Just got to do it. I mean, it's great. You know, makes you think, you know. You know, like you said, your your writing has definitely been improving. So about much it better. Because you know what's so awesome so about uh, my, my rep- news reporting, my journalism class, um, as well as the Lakelander, is... Uh, I get to talk to people, and it's really cool. Yeah, because you get to learn more about uh, who they are and 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 kind of like why they do things, and you get to learn more about them. And as well as like, I did a piece, and it's going to be in uh, the next issue of the Lakelander, which actually comes out tonight. Uh, it'll be on the shelves tonight, probably after you've already gone home. Uh, but it'll be available. Well, I don't think we have school tomorrow, do we? Mm, well, some people do, but. President's Day. I think they're taking Friday. Oh, uh, do they? Yeah. Mm. So uh, we don't have school tomorrow. However, you can get it on Monday. Is Monday? Is Monday? President. Mo- Monday is President's Day, but they're taking it off Friday because less students are here on Friday. Okay. I was wondering about that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's a yeah. good announcement. There's yeah. still there school is... on Monday, even though it's President's Day. Yeah. Um. 
Uh, but anyways, uh, I did a piece, um, and you can read it in the next issue. Please read it. Um, uh, on the lake, uh, on Lake Tran, they're now doing Saturday sessions uh, or Saturday services. Uh, back in 2009, they took it away because of rising gas prices, mm-hmm. really cut into their uh, budget. Yeah. And now they're able to bring it back, um, so they'll be able to. Is that is? Do you know if that's going to be back until gas prices rise up again, or is it uh, for at least the next two years? Oh, cool. Yeah. Regardless of the gas prices? Regardless of gas prices, Good. they have enough money uh, saved up. Just from this year alone, they saved $581,000 wow. on gas. Wow. Uh, because I mean, there's, there's a lot of, a lot of run around they do. Uh, they, I day. think their, uh, what, what their quote for um, price per gallon they were buying diesel fuel uh, at was like 341 or something around there. And now it's, uh, it's, 125. Holy moly. I don't know if anyone out there really knows anything about diesel. If you have a diesel car, a truck, uh, my little brother and my cousin Luke have one. Uh, the, my little brother has a uh, diesel Jetta and my cousin has a um, Duramax. But it, get, like, you can't get. You diesel. can't get diesel like that. No, that, that is cheap. fantastic. Yeah. I, I just got, I'm I'm gonna brag to my cousin Luke about this, and he will be <laughs> extraordinarily upset, and he's gonna try to find who who sells them. Wait, diesel. you know what? I'm sorry. It's it's like two fourteen. Oh or well, like. now I'm <laughs> now <laughs> I'm what upset. I was thinking. What, what what I was thinking of was uh, the um, difference between the two. Oh, uh, the difference. It's a dollar fourteen lower. Yeah, yeah. Or a dollar, but, but it lower. saves them. A lot of money. I mean, yeah. five hundred thousand. I mean, five hundred and eighty-one thousand dollars. You think there's on gas. The, those buses generally probably they probably have forty-two gallon tanks, something like that, somewhere around there. Well, it depends on which one the buses are because the large thirty-foot buses. Yeah, I'm taking. I'm look. taking like an average, average, probably yeah. so about forty. 40 gallons. 40 gallons. You know, that, that adds up pretty fast considering they're you know running from here all the way around Lake County, and yeah. Lake County is a decently large county. I mean, it's not. Like, Big, but it, you know it's pretty big yeah know? i mean there's i mean for a bus you're going to be going through a lot of fuel that's you yeah. know, what we're trying to say yeah but my original point uh is i like i talked to the pr person well it's a relation person and um i interviewed her and that was that was a good time I, she was really nice um and then she uh after the interview she showed me around the whole place she showed me uh, where they take calls for like the dialer ride, mm-hmm. uh, and just like you know, just helping uh, c- uh, the community. So, so you went to the? I went to Lake Tran. Uh, it, it's um, I don't I don't know if it's their headquarters. I believe it is. Yeah, it's where they have all their. Uh, yeah, it's their headquarters because they have it's their bus base. Yeah, it's a bus everything. garage. Uh, they have like all and and yeah. So she showed me that. Uh, she showed me um the dispatch room. Mm-hmm. Um, and everybody was leaving so. Uh, I only got to see the room, but it was really interesting. And then she took me out to the garage, and I mean, it was huge. It was absolutely massive. It was probably uh, like, uh, probably two hundred foot at least, like square foot. Yeah. Um, well, two hundred square feet is not anything. Oh wait, it's probably like two thousand. Two thousand. Yeah. Two hundred square know, feet. That's, that's like, you know, that's massive. It was two hundred. Isn't yeah. Two hundred is like, not. But two thousand. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know, actually, it might be like 200 by 200 feet. Yeah. I don't know. That's why it's a square. But What's up? But Hey! Okay, so so we're going to take a break from talking about the buses, even though that's thing. And I have one thing to say. It is, I am very jealous of you for being able to, uh, being able to talk, <laughs> talk on the, on the, uh, you know, to people with your major. Because my major, being a, a biotech student... I uh, am encouraged to not talk to people. <laughs> I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna sit. I'm just gonna do I'm the just, math problem. Just gonna do my homework in the corner and. Don't but no, I, I do love it. It's it's great. It's yeah. real high techy and and you know you got a lot of cool cool techniques you get to show uh, get shown and, and yeah. stuff like that. I definitely um, suggest it to anyone because there's a pretty awesome placement program in it and stuff like that. Hey, so. I have a joke for you. What's your joke? How do you tell uh, um, if a biochemist is a introvert and extrovert? Or huh. uh, how do you tell if they're an extrovert? Huh. They stare at the other person's feet and not their own. <laughs> <laughs> I got a joke for you. What? My dad told me this one yesterday. 
Man, I got so drunk yesterday, I had to take the bus, take a bus home. You might not really think that's a big deal, but it's the first time I ever drove a bus. <laughs> 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 All right, right now, we have a special musical guest, Christian Evans, or C.D. Evans, or Lil' Tom Jr., whoever the hell you want to talk about. I don't know. You know, whatever he wants to talk. He's, he's going to come he'll in be, here. He'll be in in about uh, three, two, one. Come on in. We're coming in. He's coming in. He can, awesome. He's going to play right. uh, a little song. He's going to dance a little for you on the Has stream. Has my mic not been on this whole time? What? Has my mic not been on this whole time? No, the light just... Just doesn't come out. Oh, it doesn't come out. Yeah. Oh wow, that would have been bad. Fun stuff. You you can stay for the the show too. Yeah, you want to come in? You you want to come in? Listen to yeah. Christian play his guitar. Oh, who's playing guitar? Oh, Christian. C D Evans. Yeah, you can right, do whatever we, you want. While we set up, do we want to put on some music? All right, we're gonna put on some music. Uh, we have. Uh, I listened to him in the car this morning. He is a uh, excellent. Um, thing he actually won the little desk competition on NPR it's called the fantastic negrado and i'm i like it all right
I should have paid the Chinese girl Now I'm losing everything I have Yesterday it felt so good But now today it feels so bad All right, we are here with Christian Evans. Say hi, Christian. Hey. Um, How we doing? That wasn't high, but, you know, whatever. I mean, you can make me feel like a jerk. Hello. Okay. <laughs> that still wasn't high. Uh, that's fine. How's that's it fine. going? <laughs> <laughs> well, All right. uh, before we get started, uh, let's just introduce him. Uh, he is our friend. He's actually your cousin. He's actually my cousin. Um, friends. He we went to high school with him, everything like that. Obviously, I mean, we're cousins and whatnot. I've been friends um, with him since uh, seventh grade. We actually did track together. We became friends because we were both uh, really into the Vines and a uh, fantastic band and we've been listening to his music for years and we've been able to see him progress, grow, and, progress and, and grow as yeah, a musician I, I, you know it. i've played with him i'm kind of a part-time drummer right now but that's not <laughs> the point but the point is this guy has a show coming up on the 28th right yes sir. 28th, 28th at mahal's in lakewood right mm-hmm so and uh, if you like him please come down if you want more oh, information just, just get the and guy and the the he has a tattoo on his wrist. It says "Main Man from Main Street." One on his left arm, arm which you won't be able white to see. White T-shirt. White T-shirt. He's if, got a shaved head. Yeah, <laughs> and it, he'll probably oh, be carrying a guitar he, case. He's going to be carrying a guitar. That's probably the easiest giveaway. Right. Um, so here he is, Christian Evans. And actually, on, it's an ongoing story now. Oh, it's an ongoing story. Yeah, yeah it's not right. Little Tom Jr. Get it right. It's not generic. <laughs> no, get it right. Ongoing, it's not anything ongoing else. Story. Come on. Ongoing story. Okay. Yeah. Ongoing. All right. What's this the, is ongoing and the name, story. And the name of the song is Letting Go. Letting, Letting Go by Ongoing Story. An ongoing story. Come on, man. The room is cold. I'm all alone. This bed is all I need. Close my eyes to pass the time and hope to get some sleep But I can't and I won't I am helpless on my own I forgot how to cope without you As time would pass and learn to laugh and see it clear enough To know that time is justified Another solo cup So I drink to accept I am perfectly content with the night better spent without you as I'm learning to love myself again. In time I would feel it sinking in that I am a stranger to most. I may never get to know if I'm too intimidated by the thought of letting go I'm happier than ever now I write it and believe But my eyes are finally heavy I could really use the sleep So I put down the pen And tomorrow start again with this song in my head about you As I'm learning to love myself again In time I would feel it sinking in That I am a stranger to most I may never get to know If I'm too intimidated by the thought of letting go as I'm learning to love myself again In time I would feel it sinking in That I am a stranger to most I may never get to know If I'm too intimidated by the thought If I'm too intimidated by the thought 
Mom, I'm too intimidated by the thought of letting go. All right, that was ongoing an wow. ongoing story. Also known as Christian Evans. He is our deeply loved friend. Um, it's fantastic. Thank I loved you it so much. Uh, if anyone fantastic. out there listening loves it. Be sure to tell him. You'll see the biggest grin on his face. He's such a cute little guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, um, and that will just about do it for our 9 to 10 show. Uh, thank you for listening. Uh, a few things we'd like to like to thank the the custodial staff again like we do did uh, last week thank uh, you they're they're definitely an under um underappreciated underappreciated uh group Faculty of people but members. they're they're probably the they're the backbone they're the backbone, they of, the backbone of this nation this great nation and anyways um thank you christian uh one, once again when is your next show my show is on the 28th of this month okay um yeah, I will be walking around. I'm usually here every Tuesday and Thursday morning in the early childhood development place. Building? Building, yeah. Ish. Building. H building, I think yeah. it is. I don't think it's uh, I also get coffee a lot, so nice. you can find me at a coffee place. Yeah, we should hang out. Um, I love you. <laughs> I love you. Um, where's, where's your show at? My show is at Mahal's in Lakeland. Or, or Lake. Lake. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, right now you're in Lake, Lake, Lake Wood. <laughs> Sorry, Lake Wood. Um, it's a local showcase, so it's spot, like it's me and then a bunch of other local acts. So that's kind of cool that we're getting mm. our names out there together. And yeah. uh, most likely, I I, t- I talked to Jeremiah. Uh, most likely, uh, you can do uh, a, a showcase. You know how Aaron Burke was down there. Yeah. Uh, you're 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 going to be able to do that. So people are going to be able to get to see you, um, and people are going to get the. Interact with interact you. Interact with you. Um, also, Music Week is coming up. I believe it's in April. Yeah. And then at the end of Music Week, we'll be doing a concert. There's a bunch of bands. Um, so uh, if you want to see uh, Christian Evans play, then um, you'll well you'll get to see him. Yeah. So an ongoing story. An ongoing story. By Christian Evans. Thank you for having me, guys. Oh, it's our Thank pleasure. You. And everyone out there, careful on the roads. It's slippery. You've lived in northeastern Ohio for a majority of your life. So drive drive like you, you, you're you supposed to. Come on. Uh, this so isn't, This isn't news. All right. Uh, have a nice day, and see you later, Lakeland. Want to spend a day exploring a career field of your choice? The Lakeland Career Services Center presents Job Shadow Day. By signing up, you'll find out what it's like to be a healthcare worker, HR professional, health desk support technician, and so much more. Job Shadow Day is on Friday, February 27, 2015 from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. To apply, please go to careers.lakelandcc.edu or pick up an application in room A, 1039 by Thursday, February 5th. Applicants must attend a mandatory workshop on either Friday, February 6th from 9 a.m. till 10 a.m. or Tuesday, February 10th from 4 p.m. till 5 p.m. For more information, contact Nora Stitchke at 440-525-7272 or email at careerservices at lakelandcc.edu. A number of shadow opportunities are available.